Thank you for taking up a few moments of your time with me today. You know, today is the last day of the semester. Kind of hard to believe it has been a different semester, hasn't it? The most disruptive in American higher education. But, but here's the good news. Our faculty, our staff, our students, all of you have gone through this successfully. You've made adjustments on the fly that were unimaginable before you started. Think about this. Uh, we have put an entire curriculum in two weeks, in two weeks time, uh, uh, online. You're able to do this all remotely. We were able to transition our work to remote work. Think about that. And we've been very successful in doing this. You are to be congratulated. <clears throat> it's an achievement that will live with you and that you can be proud of the rest of your lives. For, the thing is, it's not all over. We've got summer coming up, but the good news, we've had time to prepare for summer. Our summer will all be remote, all online, uh, and we'll still be working mostly from home. We'll begin phasing in, working on campus, uh, but persist through the summer. What you can't do is let something like this disrupt you, disrupt your education, disrupt your goals. You have to continue to persist. I understand it's difficult. I know it's difficult for all of us, but, but continue on. What you'll find is that we'll put your health and safety first, just as we're doing this summer, we'll always do that. But we'll be back on campus uh, in some shape, form or fashion, and we'll move forward. What we will not do is be defeated by this situation. You'll continue your education, we'll continue our work, and we'll all be stronger as we come through this. Thank you.